Well, good evening, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great hump day. Hope you're getting over the hump. Man, it is already tomorrow night. Damn. Week number 11 of the NFL season. I don't even know who's playing, but we'll be live streaming, watching the game. We'll see if we can get Game Time Brian and crew together. Uh, I know Game Time's been busting ass and taking names on his job and stuff, and we'll see if he's got the energy to make it through a sleep fest. So, you know, when it comes to being the Dallas Cowboys, they don't want you to enjoy anything. No matter what happens, there's an excuse why it does not matter. I get it. The Giants with Danny DeVito, I mean Tommy DeVito, who is just happy to be living still at home, that mama's doing his, 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 his uh, laundry and making up his bed, and he's got dinner waiting for him with chicken cutlets when he gets home. I know he's not ready to be a big-time NFL quarterback, but he does have more touchdown passes than Daniel Jones. And, you know, speaking of Daniel Jones, you know, I got a bone to pick with some of y'all. You know, still, even now, people will talk about, well, Dak Prescott, you know, when you get the bag, you've got to, it's like, wait a minute, do y'all realize that Daniel Jones got the bag, the same amount of money that Dak Prescott has gotten? And they talk about he's been played his last snap, probably with the Giants. And Daniel Jones hasn't done anything near what Dak Prescott has done and accomplished in his career. Nothing. You certainly ain't beat the Cowboys with Dak Prescott, I can tell you that right now. But you know, it's funny because there's a lot of guys that have gotten the bag. Dak got paid. I don't know that he got the bag. I will say Joe Burrow, he got two bags. I will say Justin Herbert, he definitely got the bag. Lamar Jackson, he got the bag. Um, I will say, um, um, let's see who else got the bag recently. Oh, uh, Jalen Hurts, he got the bag too. And it's funny about Lamar too, and and not to I'm not trying to belittle anybody, but we keep talking about what Dak Prescott doesn't do in the playoffs. You know, Lamar Jackson he does a lot in the playoffs, don't he, bro? Don't don't he? I, I know Justin Herbert he does a lot in the playoffs too. Yeah, uh, yeah, he does, he does, and and that guy Trevor Lawrence yeah he does a lot in the playoffs too. But be that as it may, it's getting hard out here. For some of the ladies that have been trashing Dak Prescott this season. Joy Taylor. You know, here's the thing that's kind of funny is all of them have been writing checks, talking and trashing Dak, saying he's not this, he's not that. You remember, you remember during training camp when they were literally counting interceptions in practice? Not 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 the game. Not the game that we love. We talking about practice. They were counting interceptions. Oh, they were looking at chop. Oh, Dak Prescott, he going to turn over the ball. He going to turn over the ball. We can talk about Dak. We can talk about, yeah, that's what they were doing. And this whole Joy Taylor, oh, my Lord, the first couple of games, man, she was pump, pimp slapping the hell out of him. But it's getting hard out here now. Listen to, to her now kind of double talking now, trying to find a way to save her speak. Obviously, Dak Prescott saw the Philadelphia Eagles. I think he threw for over 320 or so yards, had three touchdowns, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. This and, game and, yeah, lo and lost. And definitely lost. Yeah, tell, definitely tell lost. Tell but we have now seen Dak actually have a really good season thus yeah. far. Yeah. Did he change your opinion? yesterday did anything he do change your opinion <clears throat> there's nothing that Dak Prescott can do during the regular season to change my opinion mm. it's getting borderline disrespectful to Dak Prescott that he should have to prove himself week in and week out during the regular season to anyone he was paid because he is a franchise quarterback he has won big regular season games he can perform week in and week out he can have a performance like last night because he is a franchise quarterback that is not a question to me I know what Dak Prescott is capable of during the are you hearing this during the regular season, during the regular season, oh, you know, he, I, he doesn't, he didn't prove anything. Didn't prove anything. Okay. 
Alright. Alright. Now, shall we try another one? You know, Kmart, Kimberly Martin, you know, she was her big break. Her big break was actually doing an interview with Dak Prescott. And if you watch that interview, it was a great interview. She, it was really good. It's funny she sounds so different now on ESPN. And I'm going to give you a little window on maybe <laughs> reason why. Because, see, I think we got a, a little slip in here on ESPN. Let's listen to how this goes. Because it's not in dispute that right now that Dak Prescott may be having the best um, period in his career. He's had good games and things before. But the way he's been playing the last you know four weeks or so, he has truly been on point. And it's arguably, there's nobody playing better than he is at the moment. C.J. Stroud is playing really good, too. And you could make the argument that C.J. Stroud, you know, you could say Dak, you know, won and, and C, you know, 1A one, one and 1B. Uh, you know, you could put them together. I, I don't have a problem with that one. But at least, let's say, guy's playing really good. Now, can't we do that? Because they, they don't want you to feel good at all. After making all their name and all their money and stuff off of Dak's back, they still don't want to give him any kind of credit. Because, you know, with Joy Taylor, basically, you know, he shouldn't have to answer. Well, you're the reason why he has to answer every week because you're the one that's constantly trashing him and saying that he's no good and should be replaced. You're the one. Pot, meat, kettle. All right. Let's go to Kimberly Martin. He the best quarterback in the NFC? Nah. The best in the whole league. Right? Yeah! Whole league, oh, Kmart. Welcome no, you know, back. No, Don't pause. No, 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 not no, on my play. watch. Not on my watch. Because yesterday, I feel like you were even hesitant about the Texans and C.J. Stroud. Like, I don't know. It's still a young team. I don't know. <laughs> they are a young team. team. And now today. Oh, they're going to the playoffs, baby. Oh, hey, oh hey, no, no, hey, Kimberly. And now. No, 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 your opinion day to day, we're not having it today. Hey. Because I keep receipts. Hey. As a reporter, I keep, about that cash. I keep Hold receipts. On, we're making TV here. Yeah. <laughs> why are you, this why? is studio. This is studio. <laughs> why are you telling the people the secret sauce? <laughs> Let's make some. Let's make show us some tape. Show yeah, us how so, Dak I mean, has been so good. He's been really good in part because okay. he has a so, great again. and his anticipation. Again, he's like, Kimberly, you just let the cat out of the bag. You just let him know the secret sauce. But this whole, no, 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 I keep receipts. I mean, that wasn't the way she was as a reporter for the Commanders. That wasn't the way she was when she interviewed Dak. Uh, it's kind of like ESPN has made her this, whatever you want to call it. But it's getting harder out there to continuously trash Dak Prescott. You see, of course, they moved the field goal post. You know, it used to be. You know, he, he couldn't get the ball downfield, right? He, you know, he's a dink and dunker, right? Right? That, or it was the running game, or it was the Kellen Moore, you know, as the play caller and stuff. All those excuses and things that they have, because it's kind of funny. What always ends up happening, I love this. When Dak was a rookie, after his rookie year, you remember Shannon Sharp? He's a dink and dunker, just dinking and dunking. Skip, skip, skip. He can't get the ball down the field. Check that off. He's one of the yards per completion. Dak's one of the best ones. And if you can, if, and anybody that says he can't throw deep, you need to get some glasses. So that shit he did last week was unbelievable. And then it was, of course, you know, um, Garbage time yards. Okay. All right. So I'm surprised they ain't brought that back because we were playing the Giants and stuff. But, you know, all right. Then, you know, last year, they were all good, you know, games that they're winning. They weren't behind and things like that. So check that off. This past year was interceptions. And I guess we can check that off the list right now, too, because unlike guys like Josh Allen that are leading the league, even guys like Pat Mahomes. Dak is way, 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 way down on those interceptions. Even Jalen Hurts. So, yeah, it's getting hard out there for a lot of people. And hopefully, next 
three, four weeks, the Cowboys will continue to make liars out of them. He slid and he went head first at him. That's a penalty. Why do they call a penalty? First and 10. Game will still on the field. Mother. That should be a pen. That should be a personal foul. Mother humping bullshit. First and 10 at the 42. Hurts. Back to pass. Looking, looking, throws. He gets hit as he throws. Intercepted. You know why? I'll tell you why. Because guess who's on the field? Guess who's on the field? Kenneth fucking Gainwell. Kenneth Gainwell sucks. I, it's Gainwell's fault. It's all Gainwell's fault. Get him off the field. Fucking Gainwell. Get his ass off the field so we can score some points. Every time he's on the field, we don't do shit. Gainwell just, what is he doing? He's just standing there picking his ass. What did I got my ass today? Oh, some corn and some, oh, look, an undigested tomato. What is he doing? God, I can't stand this Gainwell shit. You put Gainwell out in the field. Are you kidding me?